Okay, this is really, really bad for me to be going down here right now. Cthulhu, why do you do this to yourself? I do it for the people, that's why. I do it for you guys, the viewers. I want to give you something derpy to watch. Did you talk with Lieutenant Harry before he went missing? He surprisedly glances back. Surprisedly a word? <laughs> glances back and forth. No, sorry. I didn't know him very well. At least he said sorry. Maybe he's Canadian. Sorry to bother you. Okay, apparently I'm Canadian as well. All right, so we've done all of our questioning. Let's come up and talk to Chief Brain. Found quite a bit of evidence. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I did talk to a lot of people. Good work. You've got quite a few clues here. I'd suggest you show them to the captain now. All righty. Goodbye, chef. All right, Captain Sidney. I have got some news for you, pretty lady. Oh my. Major Len is a traitor! Thank you for bringing this to my attention. She pulls you aside. Ooh, <laughs> oh, Sydney. It's time you should know. Len's working for me. After they kidnapped Harry, I asked him to go undercover and try to infiltrate their gang. His recent behavior is all a ruse to convince the real traitor he's on their side. <gasps> Due to his high rank and therefore access to rare supplies, they were willing to work with him even if they were suspicious of a trap. So far, they haven't trusted him enough to reveal his accomplice on the ship. But thanks to your investigation, I suspect the mole will let his guard down and contact the smugglers to rescue Len. You've done a great job so far. If you're discreet, you have my permission to work with Len and form a plan to catch the real traitor. Whoa! What a twist! Seriously, though. So, is this true? Or is Captain Sydney actually in on it and she's trying to cover for Len? How deep does this traitorous trail run? Hmm. Let's, let's keep following the trail, at least. Let's catch that traitor. The conspiracy's conclusion. Major Len just received a transmission from the smugglers that seems to have originated from Silo 22. Come on! I was just there not too long ago but he suspects they actually use it as a relay station. Oh, okay. If that's correct, there should be a log in the command center which might reveal who sent it and from where. Find relay log. Oh, so I do still have to go to the silo, though? Oh, gosh, full moon emerges. Whoa. Um... So it originated... This seems to have come from silo 22... But they use it as a relay station, so we want to get a relay log from the command center. I guess that would be... Let's see, hold on. Good luck. In the meantime, I'll monitor the radio for the next message so we can catch them and hopefully rescue Harry. Blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming that there were, the command center would be kind of the launch area of the silo? I have, have to imagine? I don't know. Do I want to go all the flipping way up there? I mean, I'm literally opposite on the map. <laughs> oh, and I just used so many of my, ah, oh, my filters. I guess I do have enough to make this happen still. All right, boys and girls, we about to do this dang thing. I was thinking, ah, oh, it's gonna take so long to get geared and get up here. Maybe I should just save it for another episode, but screw that. We gotta put this conspiracy to rest. We gotta follow it through to its conclusion. So I have put down a cot, a bedroll here. In case the worst should happen, I'm right here at the pass so I can drive in and get on up to the silo. <sighs> I've got an eagle fire which I need to load. And I've got a decent amount of rounds for it. Um, and then I do have my fusillot as backup, but I think I only have the one clip and then an extra 25 in there. So I'm definitely not going for a clear if I can help it. I don't have a silencer on this guy either. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should run first with the fusillot because I do oh crap oh the suppressor's really busted up <gasps> oh no <laughs> I should have prepped this first 
Um, I think I can scrap a headlamp, even though it would pain me to do so. I don't know if I can scrap sights and stuff like that. Um, nothing scrappable there. Oh, I do think I want to pop some food all up in me, though, so I can be tossed off. Crap! Oh, man, I'm going to have to do some last-second shenanigans here. Oh, oh, I've got a knife in here I could scrap. I've got... I've got this knife I could scrap as well. That should probably be enough, honestly. Let's salvage that first. I'll salvage the headlamp last. I think I should have enough already, though. Repair. Oh, yeah. Beauteous. Um, it would probably be wise to scrap other things. To have extra. Oh, I have an extra GPS. I'll scrap that. Those aren't soups hard to come by. Oh yeah, check this out. This is a new thing you can make. The industrial gas can. It takes five portable gas cans, but I've heard it holds a metric butt ton of gas. So that would be super nice to have. Um, I've got my filters. I've got them hot keyed. I've got four on me and the gas mask does not have a whole lot. So I'll probably have to jump out and reapply before I even get there. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's do this thing! I should have enough gas to get me in and out again. All right, entering dead zone. I'm kind of tempted to just go up. Hmm. Hmm, I'm tempted to just go up from below, like open the door, because I did bring a generator with me. But if there is a if there's a mega right there, it makes things really difficult. Uh, decisions, decisions. Oh wait, I'm not gonna be able to get there from here, am I? Uh, turn around. <laughs> Came at 11%. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap now. Before I forget and get my dumb self killed. There we go, glorious. So I have three filters left. So I want to make this kind of a quicker snatch and grab dealio. I assume I'm just looking for like a little note to interact with if I had to guess. Okay, I've just alerted all those guys. I just realized that was kind of dumb. Um, how far are they going to follow me? I don't want to have to waste my ammo on all of them. I do have to at least take out the spitter. There we go. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's try covert first. And if things go south, I should just be able to run out and get out of harm's way. I just don't have enough ammo really to super run and gun mode this. Oh gosh, it's still, <laughs> I didn't even think about this. It's still a full moon. Holy cow, I almost ran in there most likely to my death. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's take out a few of the worst guys. Oh, Cthulhu, what have you done? It's going to take a little while still for the moon to set. I'll take out a flamer while I can, because those guys can be serious issues later. Oh, Cthulhu, you are a moron, sir. <laughs> I mean, you guys already knew this already, but... Jeepers creepers. Am I hearing... Am I hearing a mega yet? I think I am. I'm going to put my other earbud in. I usually only wear one at a time. Okay, this is really, really bad for me to be going down here right now. Cthulhu, why do you do this to yourself? I do it for the people, that's why. I do it for you guys, the viewers. I want to give you something derpy to watch. Because otherwise, if you didn't want derp, you'd be watching somebody who actually had a clue what they were doing, right? Okay, boop. I assume you guys come to me for derps. <gasps> Another freaking echo! Are you kidding me? Nice! Okay, now I just have to get out of here alive. Hot dang, dude! Alright, echo number two. Life is good. Okay, 42 on my current filter. <gasps> we do have a mega. Okay, so I've got to be sneaky, flippin' beaky. When I'm looking for this note. Gosh, I really hope it's down here. I hope I'm interpreting the quest correctly. Oh, there's something on the floor right now. No, that's just like some plans that have always been there. 
Okay, I've got 16 rounds on this left. Okay, it's not it's not a full moon yet either, or still. I've got half of my thingy doodle left. Okay, there's the big boy. Just watch the notes like right underneath him or something. <laughs> I guess I can keep popping fools. Oh, is this it? Okay, um, I'm not gonna take the time to actually read that. You guys can pause the vidya. Vertical grips are always nice. Um, I guess since I'm here, I might as well go up the other route as well and see if I can get anything good. The bipod. I'm kind of tempted to try luring the mega out as well. I'm tempted. I know that's a horrible, horrible idea. I got screwed over last time with Megas and their drops. Ah, <sighs> maybe I should though, it's always fun, right? Um, let's go ahead and salvage all of those and I guess, uh, oh gosh, let's go ahead and reload. I don't know if I could take him out just with the ammo I have for my Eagle Fire. I don't know. Bop, bop. Gosh, that, that mega moan is so freaky. <laughs> it's like, death is waiting for you, is what it says to me, basically. Uh, snipper mag. Oh, crap, was there something there? Was there loot there that just despawned in front of me? Was that Neko Magazine? Yeah, I think it was. Nice! Detonator? Sure, I'll take. I don't need them, but I'll take one. I don't know, maybe I should try taking out the mega. I don't know. I tend to chicken out and be like, you know what, I'd rather get out safe and sound in one piece. Oh, but it would be cool to kill another dead zone mega. Anything good, anything good. Scope that I don't need. Okay, looks like the echo was as good as it's going to get today, which is pretty dang good. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Let's go back up to the surface here. All right, you down. Ranger mag, sure, why not? Oh, gosh. Lots of dudes. Oh, man, I don't know if I have the ammo to do this, honestly. I guess I'll try. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, we doing it. We're doing it live, guys. Oh, I was so good about keeping an eye on stuff. And then I went and did that. Okay, let's reload and use the last of my ammo to clear jerks. Okay, that's good enough. Let's swap that out. Oh, hurry, I hear him coming. All right, I got 50% left. Oh man, the eagle fire is loud. I got 50 left on this guy and I've got a decent number of rounds. Maybe I should switch to... Oh. Oh, that's safety. Let's not switch to safety. Oh, does it only have semi and burst? I haven't played around with this enough, apparently. Okay, we're doing well. Kite him out. Reload. Keep him kiting. I think I've cleared out most of the other guys. Okay, there's one back there. Oh, dang it. I thought he was down. Now he's down. Nice. Oh, dude. Maybe I have not been... Giving the eagle fire the uh, the respect it deserves, because that felt pretty good. What the? Whoa, 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 hold up. Do we have another mega? Oh, yes. Missing space, huh? A landmine? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? I just saw another particle. Okay, this is sketching me out. What is going on here? If I randomly die, I'm going to be super pissed. Okay, so that wasn't the best loot from a Mega, but it wasn't the worst either? Huh, okay. Um, I don't have much time left on my current filter, so let's GTFO. I wonder if I can get out of the dead zone before it runs out. Like, just up over the hill here, pretty much. Eight, seven, six, five, six, <laughs> five, four. 
three. No, 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 not gonna risk it. Do it up, do it up. Oh, it wouldn't click in right away. Oh, okay, that's definitely the closest I've gotten on a filter. I know it's not insta-death, but it's just about insta-death. Oh, we did it, boys! We done did it! All right, let's, oh man, yeah, I'm still not even out of the dead zone yet, what the crap? Let's get back to the Liberator. Oh, hello. Hello, OPBs. Let's get back to the Liberator and see if we can solve this mystery. Ooh, well guys, it has taken me long enough, but I am finally back here on the Liberator. It's been well over an hour uh, that I've been running around trying to do this questing stuff, but it's been fun and we're ready to wrap things up. So I went back and looked at my footage since I didn't take the time to read that relay log before. Um, and in case you guys didn't pause it, I'll read it off here. Uh, message, okay Len, sounds like you're in some hot water, we'll work something out and be in touch soon about picking you up. Source, Carl, then numbers and radio, target Len, yada yada. Message, seems like Len's legit after all. There's a big investigation into him at the moment and they're getting pretty close. You might want to get him out of here before he spills the beans. Source, Darren from Liberator Comms. And target is Carl. <gasps> so this guy right here, it's this guy. And he had the nerve, the gall, to make traitorous radio calls right from here. Like, how did Sydney not hear him? So if we go over and talk to Len, he doesn't actually have anything, like even though he gave us the quest, right? But I think if we talk to Sid over here, yeah, Ensign Darren is the real traitor. <gasps> All right, cha-ching! Continue. Darren? It all makes sense now. Being bunkmates, Harry must have caught him smuggling and gotten thrown in with the cargo. As comms operator, Darren was also in the perfect place to hide transmissions with the gang. Wait, which gang is he transmitting to? Is this OPB or SLB? Hmm. I'll strip his rank and have him sent down to the brig. On a brighter note, Major Len's squad will be back soon. They captured the gang and rescued Harry. If you'd like to meet him, he'll probably be recovering in his quarters. As usual, you've done absolutely fantastic work. Thank you. Nice. Um, so can I rank up yet? Seriously, though. Like, I want to be a freaking major. Um, what ranks? Replacement, nothing to report. Oh, dude, when did he disappear? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. That's kind of cool. I, I, I seriously can't rank up. I'm 76, a deputy of rep 76. I probably have to do more Horde Beacon quests for that guy. But hey, Harry is back. You're a wizard, Harry. Let's go talk to him. I wonder if he's back in the bunk area. That's pretty cool. Well done, Cthulhu crew. We we unframed Major Len, we rescued Harry, Lieutenant Harry nonetheless, we caught the real traitor, life is good. As I understand it, you're responsible for my rescue, thank you. We'll have to meet up in the cafeteria for coffee sometime. Glad to have you back. Seriously? Seriously, like he doesn't even trade or anything? <laughs> Anticlimactic! <laughs> Are you for real? Like, that's all you get. You get some rep. Um, the, the one Ensign Darren guy disappears, and then Lieutenant Harry shows up. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that's so lame. Oh. Come on now, Nelson. I thought you could do better than that. Like, he should sell you some cool stuff or something, right? I don't know. But anyway, we have the satisfaction of a job well done, you guys. We found the traitor, and it's all thanks to the crazy gas can guy back there. And we have our beautiful Anushka safely landed here on the Liberator. I'd like to see anybody mess with this beautiful baby. <laughs> this was a fun episode. I I wasn't planning on doing all this questing. I was just going to like check out some of the new zombies and stuff, but one thing led to another, and this was actually a lot of fun.
So if you guys were having any trouble with the trader quest line, now you know what to do, and you know how to get an Anushka plane safely on the Liberator deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already, and I'll do some more stuff here on the Gang Z server, and I will see you guys again next time for the next episode.